Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to take a look at the uh, Millennium Falcon Bandai model kit. Uh, so let's take a look at this thing. So here it is, as you can see there is the box and it's a pretty small box as you can tell. <laughs> my big hands over it. So my hands aren't big, the kit is small. Let's just zoom a little bit. Yeah. So anyway, so that's the front of the box. Very nice artwork as you can see. And uh, so what else is there in the box? So on that side there. So on this side you have uh, Star Wars plastic model kit, um, model vehicle 006 Bandai. On this side you've got uh, lots of information about the device itself. Uh, some Star Wars story about the ship. Uh, mark out, uh, this bit here shows you where the decals go on the top and bottom of the model. And the other side, same as the other side. And uh, the final side here is uh, warnings and stuff. You know, caution, read the instructions printed inside the box. Choking hazard, uh, keep away from small children. Ages 15 and up. I'm over 15 so I'm allowed to make this. Yay. I did that. Anyway, don't mind. Uh, Right, so let's take a quick look at what's inside this little kit. Put the box to the side, and uh, right then, I have one bag with all the bits in, and uh, as you can see, there's where's the instructions? There's lots of stuff printed on the inside there. There's uh, other kits available, apparently, and more stuff in Japanese caution in English. Uh, the instructions are on the other side of the uh, lid of the box. So uh, yeah, so let's uh, zoom in a little bit, get a close look at this. There we go. So, so basically um, it's fairly straightforward. Put the bits on on the uh, lower hole and then Parts one and two, uh, A two, A and then A and then, and then B. I think is the uh, putting more bits on. Basically, it's very straightforward. Um, I'm not going to go into detail because it's a bit tricky here. Um, but anyway, it ends up with the uh, making the stand, as you can see there, which fits onto the model itself. Yeah, yeah not doing a very good job of uh, describing this thing, but. Uh, Let's have a look at the parts. So what do I have here? So inside here, decal treat. Decals or stickers? I think it says stickers on the box. So I think these actually are stickers. Yeah, stickers. Yeah. The thing is, they're all little. Let's have fine out these stickers. Are. Hmm. So deciding whether to use the stickers or to paint instead of sticking. I'll decide when I get to the end of that. Anyway, so that's the uh, stickers. So let's, take, let's have a look at the parts. So part A1 is the top part of the hole. And uh, Despite its size, this is considered quite tiny. The detail on this is pretty immense. I don't know if you can quite make out the detailing on that, but it is. It's very well done. So that's the top hole. Uh, some amazing detailing. Uh, so now we have our sprue A2. So the second sprue. And you've got, uh, so you've got the back end of the ship, the engines. These little bits go down the sides. So down the sides of the sides, sides, side bit. The cockpit right there. So these bits that fill the holes in the, uh, in there. And you've got the uh, escape pods slash whatever they're called. I think they were escape pods on the ship, but I'm not, can't be too certain. 
uh, or docking rings. I should know more about the Millennium Falcon. Uh, anyway, that's part uh, sprue A2. Sprue A3 contains get right around a couple more side parts. The guns, uh, the gun turrets, are on the top or bottom of the ship. And you got the uh, wow, beautifully made. Uh, so they have the radar dish, which is uh, beautifully detailed for. This such a small part of the ship. The little gun turrets and uh, more side parts. Okay let's go to the last part which is uh, A4 which is the lower hull. Again, the detailing on this is very well done. And this is what surprised most about this model. The detailing on it is beautiful, considering how small it is. Yeah, it's going to go to such trouble to get it, to make such a small model look so good. Imagine what the big ones must look like. Anyway, that's my look at the uh, little Millennium Falcon. And so you got all the main parts, A1, A2, A3 and A4. Do it like that, go right. And of course, last but not least, you've got BM1, which is the uh, stand. Right, so that's my look at the uh, tiny Millennium Falcon, and uh, so I'm going to have a go at building this thing. <laughs>